absolutely love. A small, intimate, neighborhood Italian restaurant. The kind of place where the family is actually there, making the food, serving the customers, making absolutely sure you have a great time. A place like Boca Bella in Newt. Welcome to Boca Bella. Boca Bella is a family-owned restaurant. When you come here, it's like coming to your living room. We want to make them feel welcomed. We want them to have a great meal. We want them to come back and realize that, you know what, this food, this little place in Auburndale provides some good stuff. Anthony's from Brooklyn, New York. He worked at one of those New York City restaurants that was open all night long, but he met and married a girl from Newton, and together with his father-in-law, they opened Boca Bella. Mario Boca Bella, I say, could run for mayor of Newton. Everyone knows him. My last name is Boca Bella, but it's two separate words, which means beautiful mouth and what better name for a restaurant than to have beautiful things that go into your mouth. I love when I walk into a restaurant and the chef owners are there. I know that means they are really taking pride in what they do and when I see an Italian man in a red hat I know I have struck culinary gold. It's got a small dining room, it's got a small bar, an open kitchen but everybody is just having fun. It's a kitchen away from home, it's a home away from home. People that come here they love it because we make them feel comfortable and we try to accommodate them. I think the shrimp abruzzi may be the number one appetizer here. It's lightly fried and it comes with a marsala sauce. It's a combination of the sweetness from the marsala wine and bitterness from the shrimp itself. And when you blend the two in a very nice sauce, people love it. I mean, I can see people dipping their bread into it. It's that good. This is the General So's cauliflower. And I did check the pronunciation, it is So's. It's fresh cauliflower, we lightly fry it as well, and we toss it in our General So sauce. So you're gonna have a sweet, savory, little spicy sauce. If anyone is a fan of like the General So chicken dish, you're gonna love my cauliflower here. There's no statue of General mm. So in Newton, but he does have this tribute to his name. This is maybe an Italian-American restaurant in the sense that they have a full burger menu every day for lunch, and it is a delicious burger. They're big boys. They're half pounders. We grill them to perfection. The Texas burger will have a fried egg on it with some barbecue sauce, lettuce, tomato, onions. We serve them with our homemade pickles, homemade coleslaw, and a bag of chips. Parmesan Special gives you a choice of five parms. Eggplant, chicken, veal, shrimp, or zucchini. But my favorite is the shrimp parm, because I've never seen it at any other restaurant. That's usually one of the first things they ask. Shrimp Parmesan, hmm, never had that. Well, today's a good time to start. We give like four shrimp, we fry it, then we bake it with a melted mozzarella and sauce. And that's it, we put it on pasta. They are absolutely delicious. The chef's favorite parm is the eggplant parm. As you can see, this is real thin, and they do not use breadcrumbs. So so it's super light. We fry it crispy, thinly sliced, flour and egg, and back to a flour batter, crisp it on high heat, add our marinara sauce, sprinkle a little mozzarella on it, and put it up in the broiler, fantastic. This is a very hearty, very flavorful lasagna. It's got five layers of pasta, beef, ricotta cheese, baked in the oven. Doesn't get any more comforting than this. It's sauteed beef, and it's layers of pasta, sauce, ricotta, mozzarella cheese, and it's baked. Talk about comfort food. That's really comfort food, especially on a really cold day. It's really nice. There's nothing better than a bolognese. It's served over a pappardelle pasta, so that's a wide noodle that can really stand up to this sauce. It's a more of a delicate sauce here. We use pork, chicken, veal, marsala wine, mushrooms, onion, carrots. We do hit it with a little bit of cream. So it's sort of a pinkish sauce that we serve over a nice wide noodle, so it's a nicer bite. My North End friends may disagree, but I think this is as good as anything you're gonna find on Hanover Street. This is the chicken scallopini caprese. Maybe you've heard of that dish as a salad, but they've turned it into a chicken dish with pasta. Well, we have a caprese sandwich, for example, which is delicious and people like it. Why not play with it? And that's what we've done. This is a thinly pounded chicken breast sauteed in garlic, olive oil, white wine with diced tomatoes, fresh basil, and melted mozzarella served over angel hair pasta. Angel hair, my favorite pasta for this kind of a dish. I'm not a huge dessert eater, but I make an exception here for their homemade tiramisu. My follower makes probably the best tiramisu I've ever had. It's the mascarpone cream that he uses. It's the espresso, it's the lady fingers, and then you have the fresh cream on top with the cocoa powder. Delicious. <laughs> 
Bourbon Gourmet is all about finding places like this. You have a friend that thinks he knows everything about Italian food, but tell him about Boca, Bella, and Newton, and he will thank you. <laughs>